six minutes now. Is the diamond ring really obvious? Like, oh, yeah. You know, or were you it, wondering, like, oh, is that the diamond ring? Is that not it the diamond ring? Actually, it comes down from a big glare down to a tighter, tighter, tighter little bead, and then it disappears, and then you see the corona. But you want to... Uh, You want to not miss it. So that means I need to be looking before the diamond ring. Well, like making quick glances or something. Yes. Um, I would recommend people just try to. I don't want to complicate it too much, but after t listening to several people give their talks, and I had to give a couple over and over, I had people ask me, "Will it, will it hurt my eyes?" Well, the eye doctor said, yeah, don't ever, like, I'm looking right up at it right now, and I'm just, yeah, you see a little white yeah, same here. after flashes in front of your eyes. Yeah. But the real damage comes if you look through concentrated optics right, for up to 20, 30 seconds, like right now. Yeah. It can heat up the, the aqueous humor right in front of the retina, and the rods and cone cells can start to damage. Yeah. You don't know it. There's no, nothing tells you uh, damage alert, you know. You just don't know until you get older. You see these blank spots in front of you. And the Bailey's beads is before the, before the diamond ring or after? The Bailey's beads can start to appear at the diamond ring around it, but it's more obvious during the totality. Okay. It's really obvious during the totality. So, yeah, the Bailey's beads are when the sun is, um, the sunlight is going between the mountain ridges of the moon on the edge. So the edge will look kind of maybe ragged or something. I don't know. You may also see uh, solar prominences, I've heard. Like yeah, little beautiful little fiery flames. Can you see that naked eye, or do you need binoculars? You can. You, binoculars. It's too tiny just looking up. Okay. So unless it's a really big event with a flare happening or something. But it's very close, I can tell you. We just have like a small sliver. Yeah, we've got another, uh, another four minutes yet. Four minutes before totality, folks. Okay, so remember to take those glasses off when the totality starts. You'll miss it. For two minutes, yeah. You'll go to two minutes of darkness, you'll see nothing in the glasses. If you leave them on. It's safe to look at the corona. You won't harm your eyes. I, astronomers start looking up during the diamond ring effect right before totality because it's just beautiful to see, especially in binoculars. But I wouldn't advise anybody else to do that. Oh, I'm doing three cameras at once here. So it's, it's a lot of concentration on changing shutters and aperture speeds and what they call bracketing. Close. Some people, it's yeah, coming up, uh, some people use... Don't hold that in your hand. Some that. people use programming, it's all on the computer and they just sit and watch it. I'm doing it all by hand. So it's really, yeah, I, I'm sorry, I'm not going to talk anymore. But, but yeah, do go, go look up, be ready. Two minutes. I'd be sure to figure out when to pull the damn pile off. I'd like to start doing it now, but I don't want to. Starting, diamond ring is starting now, if you want to call it that. Yeah. And mylar is off at this point, about 30 days. It's really spectacular. Here it comes. So it's, it's a large diamond ring right now. Narrowing down now, it'll come down to a bead. I'm getting strange distortions here in my lenses. Okay, close your left eye if you want to be ahead. Close your left here. Close your, oh, Sienna's smart. Yeah, one eye closed, so it gets dark. Yeah.
still like a it's still like a large diamond ring. You really shouldn't look at it yet without your glasses, but see the dimming of the light, you know, getting the dim orange light. You're gonna start to see the shadow bands on some of the things, little ripples on the ground will start to appear. Interesting edges starting to show on the sides of the diamond ring. Wow. You can actually see the dark side of the moon now. If you have the right photography for it. It shows craters and everything. Wow, really beautiful. Something just went over the sun. It looked like a satellite. I don't know what it was. Fiery edges. Really fiery edges on the... Uh, Lots of fire around the bottom. Yeah. This Venus Venus is very bright right overhead. Nice inner corona. A nice Bailey's beads on the right. Actually right left. Wow, it's really great. It's just, uh, it's better than expected. Beautiful, fiery uh, Bailey's bead on the upper Beautiful. left. You can eye visible and actually see it. Gosh, I want to just, look at that. It's like a sunset all around the entire sky, around the horizon. It surrounds, we're in the shadow path now, so it's really. The corona is exactly as I described it. Those strange sprayed out either side of uh, upper right and lower left. Just exactly as they predicted it. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's just, I don't remember looking up there like that 38 years ago. I must have missed it. Oh, it's gorgeous. We got about another 20 seconds left, I think. Do you want to look through binoculars? Yeah. Should I? It's beautiful. It's worth it.